Hello, we're here at Class 1 Equipment. Today is April 26th, 2016, and this is the demonstration video for ID 3894, which is an Oxford Plasma Lab 100 uh, cryo table ICP system. Let's take a quick walk around the system. Comes with the ICP 380 head. Currently, the load lock is loaded with a single single wafer carrier uh, carrier plate. The system also comes with this three substrate carrier plate. Okay, over here you have the system PC with new monitor, mouse, keyboard. Got the system gas box. This gas box has all new uh, metal lines and all the MFCs have been sent out for clean and calibrate and resize if necessary. Currently we're only plumbed to run nitrogen through the O2 line. System pumps for backing the turbo. We have an Edwards IQDP40 pump and for load lock pumping you have an Edwards uh, GSVP30 scroll pump. Facilities inputs. Here's the uh, electrode cooling loop. Currently we don't have any cooling on the electrode, but if you had liquid nitrogen for the cryo table, this is the liquid nitrogen solenoid, which pulses to keep temperatures in line. Get the chamber side wall heater. Here's the local power box, which feeds power to the two pumps. Over here is the ICP uh, generator, RF generator power. That's externally powered. Uh, this tool also comes with a Nest Lab HX75 air cooled chiller. You can see its set point is at 20 and it's controlling at 20. Water output and in return ports. Okay, let's run a quick test run and show the operation. First we'll uh, pump down the load lock. While the load lock is pumping, we'll load in our process recipe. And this is just a really quick recipe that runs a couple of different power levels. Go ahead and click run. Wafer carrier plate will be loading into the chamber. Okay. 
In this step, uh, gas flows are started at 80 SCCM and pressure is stabilized at 15 millitor. You've got the backside pressure to 15 tor on that carrier plate. Table temp is 60 degrees and holding at 60 degrees. That might go up since we don't have table cooling. This is a fairly short recipe. All right, here's our first power step. 20 watts uh, forward RF power and 1,000 watts on ICP. Tuned into less than 1%. This is just a one minute step. During refurbishment, the system is completely torn down for a full wet clean. Receives all new seals, all new, uh, all new uh, O-rings. The gas box is totally rebuilt. All the MFCs are professionally cleaned and calibrated. Uh, vacuum pumps were sent out and fully refurbished. The turbo pump was sent out and fully refurbished. The chiller was refurbished also. Uh, all liquid and air lines were inspected, replaced if needed, as was all wiring. We've changed into our next power step. This one's going to set a new pressure. It's got 10 tor backside pressure, 10, tor, 10 millitor chamber pressure, and 103,000 for RF powers. Gas flow set point changed to 70 SCCM. You can see it tuned in very well. Okay, that was the final step in our very abbreviated recipe. Wafer is unloading, let's go take a look. Uh, product. Thanks for watching. Once again, this has been the demonstration video of Class 1 Equipment's ID 3894, which is an Oxford Plasma Lab 100 ICP system. Thank you very much.